Hello and welcome to Tech Boost TV. Today we are going to be looking at the Dell Precision 5820 workstation. Although other operating systems may work, the ones listed on the screen are certified by the manufacturer to run. Before diving into the technical specifications, let's go over the physical characteristics of the system. The dimensions of the workstation are as follows. 16.45 inches tall, 20.4 inches deep, and 6.95 inches wide. This system supports one Intel Xeon W or X series processor and up to 512 GB of 2666 DDR4 RAM or 256 GB of 2933 MHz memory. Its basic configuration has four 3.5 inch hot swap hard drive bays and one internal 5.25 inch bay that can be used for one 3.5 inch or one 2.5 inch drive. With the proper backplane, one of the hard drive bays can support an M.2 NVMe drive with the proper flex bay adapter. Looking at the outside of the system, we can see convenient carrying handles for easier mobility. The 5820 offers a few different removable storage options. It offers one slimline bay for DVD-ROM, DVD-RW, or other optical drives. There is also a 5.25 inch bay that can be used for a DVD-RW, Blu-ray, Dell's digital audio interface, or for additional hard drives. The power button is located at the top of the system, which glows when the system is turned on. The front ports of the system include two USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type-A, two USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type-C, one media card reader, and one universal audio jack. Moving along to the back, note the rear power supply and power plug. The Dell 5820 can support either a 425 watt or a 950 watt hot swap power supply that can be easily replaced. The back of the system has the following ports. Six USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type-A, one RJ45 network, two PS2, one serial, one audio line out, and one audio line in. The hot swap hard drive trays can be accessed from the front of the system by removing the front panel. The hard drives are installed into these trays. With the appropriate adapters, the 3.5 inch trays can be converted for use with 2.5 inch solid state drives, or with the proper backplane, one tray can be replaced with flex bay modules for an M.2 NVMe drive. The Dell 5820 supports up to 6 2.5 inch or 3.5 inch drives, with front and rear access storage including SATA, SAS, and PCIe M.2 NVMe solid state drives. To open the system, lift the latch found on the side and remove the cover. We can now explore the internal components. The system has a 6 gigabit per second integrated Intel chipset SATA controller with 6 SATA ports, plus 2 dedicated ports for optical drives, and can support RAID 0, 1, 5, and 10. The motherboard has the following PCIe slots. 2 PCIe Gen 3 X16, 1 PCIe Gen 3 X16 wired as X8, 1 PCIe Gen 3 X16 wired as X4, 1 PCIe Gen 3 X16 wired as X1, and 1 PCIe 3233 slot. PCIe Gen 3 slots are typically used for video cards. Please note the system comes with two 8-pin power connectors that can be easily converted to 6-pin. The system also has an optional mounting bracket designed to secure larger video cards. The 5820 can hold two PCIe X16 Gen 3 graphics cards and can support up to 600 watts of power with maximum of two 300 watt double width graphics cards. The Dell 5820 supports the video cards listed on the screen. The motherboard has one CPU socket, and the system can, depending on the motherboard, support either Intel Xeon W or X series processors, with up to 18 cores. There are a total of 8 DDR4 memory slots on the motherboard that can support either 2666 or 2693 MHz DIMMs. Each slot can support up to 64 GB of RDIMM or 32 GB of UDIMM. Please ensure you are using one of the memory configurations shown on the screen for optimal memory bandwidth, and check out our 5820 memory installation video for more tips. All in all, the Dell Precision 5820 is a powerful and affordable system that can handle your most complex projects. Please check out our how-to videos covering processor, RAM, hard drive, and video card installations, as well as general product overviews for this and other systems. If you have found this helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. We welcome suggestions on how to make these more useful, so please don't be shy requesting more content.